Dear students, welcome to all of you in this video lesson of B. Ed. First year of Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad. Today, we will have a discussion on meaning, characteristics and functions of language. The topic is prescribed in the first unit, the introduction to English language teaching of the course Pedagogy of English for both regular and distance mode students of B8. In this video lesson, we will try to find out the answers of these questions. What are the characteristics of language and what are the functions of language? Let us review the characteristics of language in short. Language is learnt. Language is an acquired behaviour. Language is a system. Language is vocal. Language is ever changing. Language is for communication. Language is arbitrary. Language is based on cultural experiences. Language is made of habits. And lastly, language is unique. After discussing characteristics of language, let us look into the functions of language. M. A. K. Halliday, a British linguist, explained seven basic functions of language in his book, Exploration in the Functions of Language. The first function of language, according to Halliday, is the instrumental function. The word instrumental means serving as an instrument or means. The instrumental function refers to the use of language as an instrument to make the recipient do something by requesting or commanding. For example, please give me a glass of water. Will you do me a favor? These are the examples of requesting. Open the door. Throw away this garbage. These are the examples of commanding. So, it serves the function of I want, the satisfaction of material needs. Therefore, the instrumental function refers to the use of language as an instrument to make the recipient do something. The second function of language is the regulatory function. To regulate means to control or to direct by a rule, a method or principle. The regulatory function of language refers to the use of language to regulate the behavior of others. Instruction or teaching can be regarded as a type of communicative behavior intended to cause the addressee to do something. It also includes advising and suggesting. For example, you should take some rest. It is an example of advising. You must not take things that do not belong to you. It is an example of control through warning. If you steal again, I will smack you. This sentence is an example of control through threat. You will make mummy very unhappy if you steal again. This sentence is an example of control through emotional appeal. Parking is not allowed. This sentence is an example of control through rule. In short, the regulatory function of language refers to the use of language to regulate the behavior of others. The next function of language is the interactional function. To interact means to act one upon other or to talk with each other. The interactional function of language refers to the use of language in the interaction between self and others. It is a me and you function. It is the contact oriented function. It includes greeting, for example, good morning, happy Diwali, happy Eid, congratulations. It includes sympathy, for example, I share your sorrow, keep patience, Allah will help you. 
it includes gratitude for example thanks a lot thank you very much for your guidance this function also includes compliments for example your dress is very good how beautiful she is lastly it includes hostility for example go to hell get out of here so in nutshell the interactional function of language refers to the use of language in the interaction between self and others the fourth function of language is the personal function the word personal means private or of a particular person the personal function of language refers to the use of language to express personal feelings it aims at a direct expression of the speaker's attitude towards what he is speaking about for example a poem or a speech this function refers to the use of language either to express the speaker's feeling or to evoke feelings on the part of the auditor thus the personal function of language refers to the use of language to express personal feelings the fifth function of language according to halliday is the heuristic function the term heuristic is a theory in education based on the idea that a learner should discover things himself the heuristic function of language refers to language as a means of investigating reality a way of learning about things it means using language to learn and to discover it is the use of language for inquiry or questioning the next function of language is the imaginative function to imagine means to form a picture of something in the mind think of the probability of things the imaginative function of language refers to language used to create a world of imagination it is the use of language for its own sake to give pleasure by imagination and aesthetics let's take an example of a poem if i was an apple i grieve on a tree i think i would drop down on a nice boy like me i wouldn't stay there giving nobody joy i would fall down at once and say eat me my boy the author of this poem is not known here author is imagining himself as an apple so the imaginative function of language refers to language used to create a world of imagination the seventh and last function of language according to halliday is the representational function to represent means to depict to show to describe or to present in words the representational function of language refers to language used to communicate information it is the use of language to convey a message which has a specific reference to the processes persons objects qualities states and relations of the real world around us for example books newspapers magazines novels use of language in mass media therefore the representational function of language refers to language used to communicate information so in this video lesson we have discussed what is language what are the characteristics of language and what are the functions of language you can read more about this topic from the books and other resources you are watching on the screen for further details you may contact us on this address let's meet some other time with some other important and interesting topic from your syllabus till then goodbye